I'm not ashamed. What tribe offered dedication offerings on the 12th day? This is the question that we seek to answer today as we continue our verse-by-verse -verse study of the book of Numbers on walking through the Bible. It's worth the glory of his cross. If you have a Bible with you, you can turn to Numbers chapter 7. We're going to be reading from verses 78 to 89. If you don't have a Bible, don't worry. Just follow along with us on the screen. The version that we'll be reading from is the New King James Version. So, Numbers chapter 7, beginning of verse 78. On the twelfth day, Ahira, the son of Enan, leader of the children of Naphtali, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering. One gold pan of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of the peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Ahira, the son of Enan. This was the dedication offering for the altar from the leaders of Israel when it was anointed, twelve silver platters, twelve silver bowls, and twelve gold pans. Each silver platter weighed one hundred and thirty shekels, and each bowl seventy shekels. All the silver of the vessels, vessels weighed two thousand four hundred shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. The twelve gold pans full of incense weighed ten shekels apiece, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. All the gold of the pans weighed one hundred and twenty shekels. All the oxen for the burnt offerings were twelve young bulls, the rams twelve, the male lambs in their first year twelve, with their grain offering, and the kids of the goats the sin offering twelve. And all the oxen for the sacrifice of the peace offerings were twenty-four bulls, the rams sixty, the male goats sixty, and the lambs in their first year sixty. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed. Now when Moses went into the tabernacle of meeting to speak with him, he heard the voice of one speaking to him from above the mercy seat that was on the ark of the testimony, from between the two cherubim. Thus he spoke to him. I'm sure regular listeners of this podcast will be relieved that this will be the final lesson covering the dedication sacrifices for the altar that each tribe offered. I appreciate you sticking it out with us in spite of the repetition, and I hope you have learned something from it. There were two reasons, of course, that we didn't just avoid this repetition. The first reason was at the end of each episode when I say that we will continue our walk through the Bible one verse at a time. I really do mean it. The second reason, the reason we couldn't just simply read this chapter all at once, is because copyright issues with the New King James Version. I didn't want to lengthen the time of each episode for our analytics show that that would be detrimental, so we had to put up with some repetition for these past few episodes. As we have seen throughout this chapter, for this dedication sacrifice for the altar, each day one tribe would offer their set of sacrifices. The order was determined by camp, with the camp of Judah going first, then the camp of Reuben, then the camp of Ephraim, and lastly, the camp of Dan. This order also matched the camp, the order that Israel broke camp in. Thus far, we've already discussed the first 11 days, the offerings of the entire camp of Judah, which included the tribes of Judah, Zebulun, and Issachar. And the offerings of the entire camp of Reuben, which included the tribes of Reuben, Simeon, and Gad. And the offerings of the entire camp of Ephraim, which included the tribes of Ephraim, Manasseh, and Benjamin. And then lastly, the offerings of two-thirds of the camp of Dan, discussing the offerings of the tribe of Dan and the tribe of Asher. Now let's move on to complete the offering of the camp of Dan. On the twelfth day, the leader of the tribe of Naphtali, Ahir the son of Enan, presented the offerings for his tribe. The sacrifice itself consisted of one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels. Both of them were full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering. Then you had one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of the peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five lambs in their first year. Notice that all of the major sacrifices were offered except the trespass offering, which was only offered when restitution needed to be made. For a more complete discussion of these sacrifices, we remind you that you can review Leviticus 1-7 through 7 on our podcast 
which can be found in the Leviticus playlist on our YouTube channel or on our website, eastendchurch.org. Just quickly though, if you recall, each of these sacrifices had different animals that could be offered. Some of them you had a choice to offer oxen, sheep, or goats, while others were more restrictive. When it came to the grain offering, there were many different ways that it could be prepared. Notice though that in this case, when it came to the burn offering and the peace offering, the amount of animals was multiplied, showing us that this was an occasion of joy to be able to offer these sacrifices to the Lord. However, for the sin offering, only one animal was sacrificed. This was not because sin was being minimized. It was most likely because the sin sacrifice should never bring joy. And so why would you multiply the animals being offered, since even one did not remit one's sins, but merely obtained the promise that through the blood of Christ, that God would one day remit those sins entirely. In total then, here is what the children of Israel offered to God. Of the silver vessels, 2,400 shekels by weight. Of the gold pans, 120 shekels by weight. Of the animals for the burnt offering, a total of 12 young bulls, 12 rams, and 12 male lambs. Of the animals of the peace offering, 24 bulls, 60 rams, 60 goats, and 60 lambs, along with their grain offerings. When you think about it, that is a lot, showing us their devotion to God at this point in their history. The chapter concludes by saying that when Moses and God talked in the tabernacle, Moses heard the voice coming from above the mercy seat on top of the Ark of the Covenant, the place where the presence of God was. Such is, a, is an amazing passage to read, but as Christians we should feel privileged that the veil of the tabernacle is removed because of Jesus' death, allowing all of us to speak directly to God. With that, our time is up for today. We will be taking our year-end break and will return, the Lord willing, on Monday, January 11th, 2021. When we return, we'll take up with Numbers 8, verses 1 to 12. From the entire East End Church of Christ in Toronto, Canada, we thank you for watching these podcasts this year, and we wish you a safe and joyful holiday season, as well as a happy new year. We hope that you'll come back to watch in 2021, when we will continue our walk through the Bible, one verse at a time. I'm not a Thank you for watching today's episode. We hope that you found it edifying and ask that you not only subscribe to our channel and podcast, but that you like and share this episode among your friends so that the saving gospel of Jesus Christ can go out to the whole world.